banana, orange, jelly. I need the yellow and orange kind. Haru, you came back and you brought the goods. Better share them. <laughs> hey, he's been going in and out of it. High fever, but could be worse. And you may have noticed the rambling, jelly, and donuts. Something about a gumshoe named Ned? Gumshoe? Logan? Hey, kid. You awake? If you can hear me, tell me who that is over there. Oh, yeah. It's you. I got something for you. I was gonna bring it to you, but wouldn't you know... Came down with the dang plague before I could take him over. <coughs> it's the Super Shield, Mark II. Even more super. <coughs> Got me a diagram and everything. Huh? Uh, that's what this is about? I thought you needed cheering up. Nothing would cheer me up more than a Super Shield. Come on, just. Look at it. I learned a lot since way back when. Is he faking it to get the shield? I would have just made him the shield. Your diagram looks great. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I learned a lot. You know, that uppity science feller. He knows a lot of stuff. Even if uppity. you've got a... <coughs> bring it out. And there's all the late nights I spent writing it, rewriting it. Kind of the last feller in town I'd ever see you taken after. Hey, wait a second. Late nights? That's why you're sick, kid. What'd I say? I regret nothing for science. <gasps> Look, just take the diagram home, all right? Think on it. I'll be better soon. Logan needs it for the outpost. It'll absorb high impact blows. Made it with a space punch in mind, based on that chip I stole. Like the anti space punch. You need it out there, pal. Uh huh. Doing it all for me now, are you, pal? All right, all right. <laughs> Your offer's been heard. It's time for you to get back to resting up. I'm gonna let our friend be on their way. You hear me? Okay. Wait. Huh? I wanna <coughs> ask y'all. Make it quick. Sounds like you're getting worse. I wanna ask y'all. How's I supposed to know if you two ain't gonna take a page out of Haru's book and quit the game? <sighs> Easy, pal. Who said anything about any of that? We can't abandon you. You're our responsibility, or you're Logan's responsibility in this timeline. How's I supposed to know you two ain't gonna ditch me too? He ain't ditched us. We sent him up there on behalf of the gang. Next time we see him, he'll be twice the man you knew him as. Yeah? Sometimes the pack's gotta split up, kid. Them's the breaks. One day, you might have to fly a solo mission yourself. But I won't let you out of my sight till you're good and ready. Now, that's a promise. All right, you promised. Have I ever let you down? Now, quit blubbering and get some shut-eye. Okay. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry your well-wishing got turned into a sales pitch. It's fine. Reckon I'll step off for a bit and see if I can't track down some of that jelly he's mumbling about. Oh, uh, what about that shield thing, huh? Didn't want to commit you to some fruitless endeavor. Can you actually make something out of those drawings? Sure, I think I can. Well, that'd be mighty swell. Just, uh, bring it on by if you manage to, uh, cook anything up. Hopefully, something like that would lift his spirits like I originally intended. It's fine. Everything is fine. 
All right, go to the tree. What, what tree? Andy? What? Okay, well, I guess he's not that sick. How do I get here? Is the question. Um, okay. I would like my mount, please. And then we're gonna ride on out there. And then that'll probably be the last thing we do. Oh! <laughs> ah, I got hit by a train again. I really need to, um, like, look both ways. Man, that makes me want to play, um, Yokai Watch again. I used to love those games. But if you don't, like, hit the like crosswalk button when you're going across the street a ridiculously powerful yokai will just come and murder you for not using the crosswalk properly it's hilarious but every time i get hit by a train in this game that's what i think of all right we need to go this way somehow nope no time for you why am I in? Oh, I'm like running. That was so hilarious. We were running on Merle's back. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. I think there was a wall here previously. And now there's not. So. Maybe this is the way. This is not the way. What the heck? I love how they're like, go to the tree. Yeah, okay, fantastic. How? How does one go to the tree? Oh, I need to open it first. I'm dumb. Hit the chest. Thank you. Alright, Merle. Merle, I don't suppose you know how to get to the tree. No. No thoughts. Nothing. I didn't think so. Well, it looks like I can place a Yakmo station up there. How the heck do I get there? I'm gonna have to legitimately look this up. My time at Sand Rock. How to go to the it is accessible via a path in the bend immediately to the right when the player comes across the bridge from Sandrock. Um... This way? I mean, like, okay. We'll try. I guess I haven't been doing enough exploring. But I never knew this was, like, a location I could go to. Have we always been able to go here? Surely not. Surely the game would have been like, look, you can go here, if that was the case. Oh yeah, there really is a bridge. I'm still standing on... Okay. I fixed it. 
Okay, path immediately to the right. Got it. I'm here now. We're going. We're zooming. I don't have time for you, snack. There are so many snakes. Holy crap. I'm happy I'm skipping them. Or we would be here forever. All right, I'm here. It's beautiful in its own way, isn't it? I always knew there was something special about it. Just couldn't quite put my finger on it. So, what's the plan? We simply extract a small sample from the core of the tree, and safely count the rings without harming it. Oh, right. Good to know. I mean, it's not every day you need to find the age of a tree, but I always thought you had to cut them down and count the rings to know for sure. Nope. You can also get a pretty good estimate just from the circumference, if you compare it to the trunk of the same species. A fallen one nearby usually does the trick. But... Given that this one might have survived from the Age of Darkness, it probably didn't have a chance to grow the way it should have. Some of its rings will be super small, which is why we need to take this sample and... Yes, there's no mistake, Minnie. It is indeed exactly as I hypothesized. Hey, you made it! This tree is the other main thing we wanted to check out while we were in Sandrock. Okay, I never knew this tree existed. Uh, what is special about the tree? To locals, I believe it's known as the Mountain Widow. Way back when people first started settling in Sand Rock, there were two of them up here. But now, this jagged looking tree stands lonesome atop Mount Rock Sand, looking down mournfully, waiting for one who shall never return as the eternal weight slowly saps its life away. Wow, that was morbid. Thanks for that. Ooh, it's the Mountain Widow. Better watch out. It's haunted by the ghost of, uh, Portal? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone there. Elis Euphratica, a species now found all throughout the Eufala. Every tree resembling this one you see. In layman's terms, this one, this is their mother. Ah, uh, so she really is a widow? I didn't know trees could be mothers. Indeed. This species produces trees with male or female flowers. When pollinated, Female trees produce seeds. Its male counterpart likely was that other tree you spoke of, based on the location. Which, if I'm right, makes this tree the last of its species from the old world. What? So, you mean the Mountain Widow survived the Age of Darkness? I believe so. Pretty impressive tree. By some miracle, the two poplars survived the calamity as well as 300 years of darkness. This symbol confirms this one's age, and my theories. Subsisting atop this mountain, reaching up at the dullest of sunlight, they were just only able to cling on to life long enough. When Peach parted the skies, they were revitalized. And shortly after, this mother tree dispersed her seeds into these windy heights to form become the basis for the forest around Martel's oasis. Hence, Sand Rock. Wow, I've never heard anything like that before. That's because I've just discovered it. Congratulations, Dr. Lua! I smell publishing and awards! Well, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I still need to get back to the lab and compare their genetic material, but to me, Seeing this, my theory is all but confirmed. Nice! What a privilege to witness such a discovery in real time. Thanks for inviting us, Nia. My only regret is, this tree was doing well until just 50 years ago. The relic brush has, in the end, 
widely claim this particular relic too, it seems. We can't revitalize it, it's like dead dead. Wow, it's been just here on the horizon and nobody knew. I'll bet the people of the Relic Rush never knew either. Hmm. Unlikely they had any clue as to its significance. Yep. Might very well have been the last known old world tree in the whole of the Uvala. And now, yeah. It has lived for a long time. And now, is holding on by a thread. Oh, it's still alive? To think that everything this tree has seen. The rise and fall of civilization, the hope of peach, the fall of Sandrock. Which will soon be continued by the rise of Sandrock. One can hope. Do you think if we can make Sandrock green again, she could make a comeback? Not a chance, I'm afraid. Even under the most optimal circumstances, this tree will be consumed by fungus and pest long before our plans even begin to come to fruition. Sorry if this is a dumb question, but can't we just water it? Fertilizer? The soil up here is a hundred years away from being able to support a tree of this size. It's impossible. I see. I guess this is hello and goodbye then, Miss Mountain Widow. Hmm. The Mountain Widow wasn't waiting for anyone. It was just... Carrying on without her husband, watching its children thrive until hmm, seeing the forest disappear was too much for her to bear. Doesn't seem right calling it the Mountain Widow, knowing that. It doesn't. How about Mama Tree, mother to all the poplar trees in Ufala? Mama Tree. I like that better. I'll abstain from this and continue referring to it as what it is: the progenitor of the populous Euphratica. I think we need something catchier. Regardless of your decision, I believe I have what I need. Shall we return to town? Well, wait a sec, Professor. I remember from your nutrition class that as long as the roots are drinking, there's a chance. And you said yourself that Zeke's algae discoveries were changing soil faster than ever before. Yes. Perhaps impossible was a bit of an overstatement. I suppose if we were to divert all our efforts toward this tree, there may yet be a time to discover what this old world tree eats, if anything different at all. From there, a stable nutrient supply, meticulous care, consistent monitoring of its condition, it is theoretically possible. Nice! So what's the first step? However, hmm? our time here is limited, Nia. We came to assist Sandrock in their efforts to reforest the desert. And then we must return to Highwind to continue our research there. Ooh, is this tree gonna be the reason Nia stays? Uh, don't you want to save this tree, Professor? It's a piece of history. I do. And we will try, if there is time. But saving our future is more important than preserving our past. You're right. Hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. It's over now, Mama Tree. You did it! We're gonna take it from here. Your family is gonna make it, I promise. You rest easy. I hope we get to help the tree. I want to help the tree. Um. Okay, we can put a thing here. I don't want that. I want the treasure thing. Learned how to cook spicy bean paste. Okay. Uh, can I just, can I just jump down? Oh, I can. Oh, 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 oh. 
I almost died. Oh my god. I have 66 health left. No, 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 no. We cannot afford more shortcuts. No shortcuts. I can't believe that was an almost fatal jump. Ooh. I didn't honestly expect to jump like that. Take me home. What is this? Oh, another quest for the school. Okay. We'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. Okay. I don't understand why it's glitching like this. Hello, Professor Luo. Okay, you stay. You're done making that. Make this next. You can have that. Um, these are done. Fantastic. So now when we come back next time, we can immediately install all of these. Wait, what? I only needed two? I thought I needed three. Whatever. Um, we can install all of those. And we can make the Yakmo thing for the tree location. Let me actually set that to be made. Here we go. So I know what we're doing. Uh, we're pretty close to being done relationship wise with a lot of people. That's exciting. But yeah, everything else is gonna have to wait until later. So we'll. First thing next time, we'll check out what's going on at the school. We need to make this thing. Oh, I only have three days to make that. Wow, they did not give you a lot of time. Can I make that now? I can. Okay. Fantastic, so we'll turn that in. So many things. Oh, I need to fix my inventory. Everything's terrible. I don't even think I've picked up this crap. All right. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be it for the day. Next stream for this game should be, let's see, today's Thursday. I have plans on Sunday, so it should be on Monday. Should be on Monday. But that is gonna be it for the day. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.